Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful fine flowers bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment, you help me so much and if you're new here consider subscribing for more similar free content. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, also link to my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. And there will be a link to see what you get if you decide to become a member. Now if you become a member you get the course 5 unexpected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch and these earrings are part of this project. So if you're curious you could consider becoming a member and don't forget that it is less than five dollars per month and you could start and cancel anytime. Thank you so much for watching now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 0 seed beads and I'm using red, white, silver and black. This is Nymo nylon thread which is size D or 0.3 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle but you might want to use also size 11 or 12 in order to be easier for you. Here I'm using scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult bits. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm going to start my work by picking up one white bead and one black bead. And then again one white and one black. And I'm going to continue this until I have six white and six black beads alternating them, so 12 beads in total. Okay, now I have this. And now guys, I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I make my knot. I make here a loop just like this, go twice through the loop and pull and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and I'm pulling. Okay now I have this and what I want to do next is go through some beads in this direction and I want to exit out of a white bead. Okay. I have this now and what I want to do next is take three white beads and as I'm exiting out of one white I will skip the black one and go through the following white. Then I will repeat this thing. I'm taking three white beads okay, and I'm going in the next white. Then again what I want to take are three white beads and skip the black and go through the following white. And now guys I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay guys, so now I have this and what I want to do is go here in this direction and go through all of the three beads that you added in your previous row. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm going to take one red bead and I'm going in the next white just like this. Then I'm skipping one, two, three. I'm going through them, I mean, but I'm not adding anything here, just going through them. And I take one and I will go through the next three as well. Okay, first through two and then through the third one. 
Okay, and I'm going to continue this the same way. I'm taking one red bead and what I want to do is go through the next two just like this and again through the third one and I'm going to repeat this guys until the end of this row Okay guys, now I have this and I'm exiting out of this one that is the one that's sticking out the most of the three that I added in my previous step and I'm going to take a red, a silver and a red. Okay, this is what I have on my needle and as I'm exiting from this one, what I want to do is go in the next white and of course, I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next row I'm going through these three beads here, through all the three of them. <coughs> and I'm going to take a white, a black and a white one. Okay, I have this and as I'm exiting through this red one, I'm going in the next three, red, silver, red. Okay. And then I will repeat this. Okay. This is what I have. White, black, white. And I go through these three. And then again. And I'm going to repeat this, guys, until the end of this row. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And the next row, guys, will be really easy and really pleasant because here I'm going to add three red beads everywhere and I'm going to finish these beautiful flowers that I'm making. Okay, and I'm going to take three and I'm going again through this newly added tree here. Then again I'm going to add three and I'm going through this newly added tree. Then again, and I'm going to show the rest one faster. Okay, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now I'm ex exiting out of this black bead. And what I need for the next row are a black and a white. And I'm going through these three beads. Then I'm going to do the other way around. A white and a black. Okay. This is what I take and I go through the black one here in the center. And then I take a black and a white and I go through these three. So I want where I have 
black to have blacks next to it and where I have white to have white next to it. So here I have a white. That is why I'm going to take a white and a black. And I'm going through this middle black here in the center. And then I take a black and a white and I'm going through these three beads here. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see these steps and repeat them until the end. Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go here through the black and through the white in this direction. And here what I want to add are three white beads. Okay, I have them and I'm going through the next white. Okay, then in my next step, I'm going through the black one here and I'm taking just one white and I'm going here in the next black and in the white as well. Okay. Then in my next step, I will repeat what I did before. I will take three whites and go here in the white and in the next black one. And I pull. Then I'm going to take a white and go through the black and through the white after that. Okay. And then again three whites. Go here and through the following black. Okay. And again a white one. Go through these two. Okay. Finish this row and meet me here. Okay guys, and now here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row. And now guys, this is the first element of my bracelet. I will make one more of those elements and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm just finishing my second flower. And what I want to do is connect these flowers in a bracelet. And of course, I will make more and more of those later. Okay, but before I connect them, you see, I still didn't cut my thread on both of my flowers and I, I didn't make any knots to finish them. So what I do is that I exit here at this side. And I'm going to take my clasp here. And what I want to do is take two silver beads. Then I'm going to take my clasp. And then I'm going to take two more silver beads. Okay, just like this. And I will go back through this white bead here. And I pull. And then I'm going to reinforce this part. I will go one more time through all of those beads or even two times if I can. Okay, here I used my pliers to go through this bead here because I went through many times through it. And now what I want to do is go in this direction. I will make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, how I'm making my knot. I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop here that I've made. Okay. Then I pull and I could repeat this knot several times. Okay, and I come here. 
I make a loop, I go once, I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started the knot from and I pull and then I could go through some bits in this direction and I could cut my thread. Okay, and this is the beautiful beginning of my bracelet. And now what I want to do is take my other element and I'm going to put my needle on this thread here, on this one. Okay guys, and now I put my needle here on this uh, element, on the thread of this element and here I'm exiting out of this white bead, you see. And now what I want to do is connect those two elements in a bracelet. And how I'm going to do this, I'm taking a black bead and I will take this element and what I want to do is go in this direction through this white bead, you see? And I'm pulling. Okay. Then what I want to do is take one more black bead and go here through this one. Just like this. And I'm pulling. Now I want to go one more time through those beads and then again make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, going here. And now I'm going to find the place to make a knot, let's say here. And how I do this, I make here a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made. Now I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull. And then I will go through the following bead and I'm going here and cutting my thread as close as possible to my work. Okay guys, and I'm going to repeat these steps. I will make another element like this and attach it here and I will continue until my bracelet is long enough for my wrist. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and now my fine flowers bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't. In this way you will be notified when I create new content and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And if you become a member of my channel, uh, you will see a tutorial for matching earrings, these ones. Uh, they are part of the course five unexpected designs that you could do with peyote stitch and if you become a member you will see it there thank you so much for watching and bye bye from me